Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I'm repurposing this canvas. This is one of my first ones that I did um, when I was doing the, the cloud pour. And I don't mind it so much, but um, I don't know what color I used here, but it turned like a funky, weird color. So I decided, nah, I'm just gonna repurpose it. So, oh, I've got water in my canvas. How did that happen? Anyhow, we don't want that. So here are my colors tonight. I have Hebeo Studio Acrylics in blue green. I have um, Deco Art Extreme Sheen in deep sapphire. I have Deco Art Metallics in um, berry. I mix these two: uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold with golden Nicolaso gold. And this is my white and I put just a smidge of titanium white in it, but this is color shift in um, white flush. So, let's get started. I've already prepped my canvas. Um, I put the black paint around it, and I, oh geez Louise, I need gloves. Black paint. I'm still trying to get the black paint out from underneath my fingernails, so hopefully this works out, because I don't, <laughs> For some reason, when I put gloves on, my pores, I don't pour as well. I don't know if it's, uh, it's all in my head or what, but uh, we just don't want it all under my fingernails anymore. So, this is my dump color. It's black, it's by Meaden, and um, I've mixed it with Floetrol and water. This is a paint and I'm going to get started. So I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm just gonna put it up here and then I'm gonna try that. I've got more, lots of paint so I can always redo it. So there's some white, gold, I don't like it. Um, I like the gold and the berry next to each other. And then some white as a barrier. And then the turquoise. I should have done this differently. I should have put the dark on the bottom, dang it. Well, let's reverse it now. Let's put a little white. Turquoise. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Famous last words, right? Oops. And then the gold in the center. When these two colors mix together, they make like a, an amazing peachy, um, I don't know, I can't even explain it. Um, I'm not going to put white on top of that. So I am just going to pour right on top and then stretch it out. Maybe I'll get a little bit different kind of composition. I'm actually going to go off that corner first because I want to create like a, how to explain, you'll see. All the way down. I have enough paint and then back to the center and then over. Go, 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 go. And then this way. Ooh, lots of multicolored cells coming up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. This is a vertical stretch, guys. Some of the cells are getting wonky. I probably should have put more paint down. Helping it along here. I might pour over this. Because I do have extra paint. Dang it. Stretch and stretch and stretch in. You guys can't see, I'm sorry. Yeah, it might have to be poured over. 
see what I did? All right, I'm gonna pour it over right now. Pour it over. Okay, here's my mix again. I won't need that much paint, of course. It is very reactive. So let's do it this way now. Of course, I'm gonna put the paint right here. White, too much white. Gold, I'm only gonna do one layer. I might do something else with this afterwards. Um, a little white. All right, here we go again. I guess pouring it in the center helps better because um, it doesn't have that far to go. So let's just take it all the way down and around and around back this way and then down this way. That's better. Down and around. Yeah, having to go all that way sometimes can be treacherous for the cells. I'm going to bring it back up this way. Oh, I missed a corner. Come on. And back. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Lord, made him wonky again. Let's just see what, what happened. Oh, jeez, I just hit it. Darn it. I'm going to leave this for you guys to enjoy. I'm not crazy about that, but it might, it might turn into something nice. Who knows? Um, I'm going to torch it. There's still a possibility of one more pour, so. And I'll be tilting it from time to time, too. Let me tilt it back this way a bit. are all malformed. All right, we'll see what happens. I've got some other cells coming up that look pretty nice, so we'll see. Uh, time lapse, the quick time lapse. Taking the gloves off. I'll be back. Time's a charm. Um, yeah, I really like this. That uh, white flash did some wonderful things. I'm on a ladder right now, so I'm going to step down carefully. Whoops, sorry guys. So, lots of multicolored cells. Now, on the third pour, I saw that my Pebio wasn't reacting at all. So I put some Jadeite Extreme Sheen in to the, the existing paint, to the Pebio, and it, it 
pulled it up a little bit more. See right there. I love that corner. I love oh. And uh, that's my favorite cell right there. <laughs> so cool. So cool. It's got so many colors and it's shimmering. I might be using that uh, white flash a lot more often. So this is a Dwight inspired core. I did use Maiden paint instead of the Artist Loft. So I've been testing that out lately and it seems to work really well for these. And I, um, on the third pour, I did put a little bit of, um, oh gosh, this is sparkling like crazy, a little bit of Thalo Turquoise in the um, Deep Sapphire, just so that it, the color wasn't as purpley as, as it was initially. So it kind of goes better but um, gosh, these look like gems, gemstones. Very cool. So with the leftover paints, I'm going to be doing something else right now. So uh, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And all my paintings are available for purchase. You can email me at gcfluidart at gmail.com. Ciao for now.